Okay, so this is a grounding exercise. We're going to do a little bit of visualization. And with this exercise, I'm going to walk you to a very healing place for me. And you can use this as an example to do for yourself for wherever one of your favorite places is, whether it's a healing place or a place that just makes your heart happy or whatever that is for you. So if you all want to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Try to keep your feet on the ground so you're connected with Mother Earth. And we're going to ask first that a circle be put around each of us of stone, ash, and salt, and that it be cleansed of all energies. And we are the only energy allowed in the middle of that circle, the only person, soul, spirit in the middle of that circle. And then we're going to picture creator, source, God, spirit, whatever you believe in, opening up our crown chakra and bringing white light, unconditional love and golden light down through us, through our central channel, through the chakras, all the way down through our feet to connect us into mother earth. We can picture our energy moving down through our bodies, down into the earth, creating almost like tree roots branching out far wide and deep down into the heart chakra of Mother Earth. And then we can feel that energy also coming back up through the earth, back up through our feet. So we're receiving from above and below. And as that earth energy comes up, moves all the way up through our bodies and out through our crown with a shower over. And once you feel grounded and sourced above and below, then it's time to take a walk. So my favorite place on earth to reconnect with myself, ground my energy is in Amsterdam, the boss, five minutes from my house in Amstelveen in the Netherlands. And I like to walk in there. So we are walking into this forest nature preserve and we cross a small bridge and we have the option to go right or left. And I'm choosing to go left. And as I walk along this little gravel path, I see the tall rushes and they're blowing in the wind, speaking to each other. I'm walking past canals and some canals that also lead out into the big lake to my right. There are some big trees. There are a lot of birds. You can hear them singing. The sun is shining down. It's warm. And as I keep walking down this path, I cross another small bridge and look out to my right. There's a small canal in between the rushes that leads out to the lake, and the heron is there waiting for me. The heron is one of my spirit animals. It's always there when I walk anywhere in that um, nature area. As I continue to walk, I go down the path through more of an open area then across another bridge that kind of goes up and over this little canal where there are a lot of swans. And just in front of me, kind of as a fork in the road where I can continue to go straight or I can go right or left down this bike path where people are biking, they're walking past. And I choose to go straight, which leads me down a gentle slope into the forest. It's a little bit darker here, but the light is shining through. You can see the little kids riding their bikes. You can see the dogs running through the woods. Some of them are jumping in the water. It's a very playful, happy, calm energy. As I walk down this path, I again hit another road and I can go right or left, or I can go straight into this um, small tree-lined area right by the water. So I choose to do that. There's a giant oak tree there. 
with roots that spread deep into the earth, but also along the dirt. So you have to be careful where you're walking or you'll trip. And if you walk around the front of this tree, there are some beautiful big roots sitting out in front of it and a little nook just perfect for you to sit with your back supported against the tree. Legs out in front of you and it's comfortable. And as you sit there, you ground your energy into the earth a little more. You look out across this lake and you see those big Scottish cows. You see birds, the swans, the ducks. You hear all of them speaking. You hear the wind moving through the trees. You hear the dogs. You hear the insects. And you just ground your energy there. Take a couple of deep breaths. And while you're in this space that you will later create for yourself, this is a good place to also connect with your knowing. Ask the questions of the ancestors, the universe, your spirit guides, the fairies that are playing in the ferns, you know, all of these things that you're wrestling with. And pay attention to what comes up for you. And when you have your questions answered, again, just reground your energy and then pull it back up from the earth through that root system that you created into your body, moving all the way up through your crown chakra and allow it to spill out and form a protective shield around you. And when you feel grounded, you can open your eyes again.